Well, for the first time since the Vietnam War, the U.S. Marine Corps has fired not one but two generals for not adequately preparing and protecting a base in southern Afghanistan. Major General Charles Gorganis was the top Marine commander in southern Afghanistan, and Major General Greg Sturdivant was the senior Marine aviation officer when the Taliban attack resulted in the deaths of two Marines and the destruction of almost an entire squadron of U.S. fighter jets. It happened back on September 14th of last year at Camp Bastion, a British-run NATO air base in Helmand province that lies right next to the U.S.'s Camp Leatherneck. Fifteen Taliban insurgents attacked the base, wounding eight soldiers, killing two, and destroying aircrafts worth nearly $200 million. The U.S. Central Command says that they were easily able to enter the encampment because the nearest watchtower to where they entered was left unmanned. The Marine Corps blames the reduced security on troop drawdowns imposed by President Obama. Over just a six-month period, the number of troops that General Gorganis's command was were actually reduced from 17,401 to uh, 7,400. The area his troops were responsible for spanned roughly 36 thousand miles. Berganis did request additional forces, but was turned down. The commandment uh, who fired the general says that he should have reallocated his staff to ensure the safety of that base, but he did not. But regardless, the attack was the single largest loss of Allied materials in the entire war in Afghanistan, and for that, someone has to pay. This time, it's two generals.